In this tutorial we're looking at section 11.8 on slope fields. So slope fields or direction fields are graphical representations of solutions to first order differential equations. Okay, a slope field is simply a graph on the Cartesian plane showing short line segments that represent the slopes of the possible solutions. Okay, so it's simply something that looks like this, okay, but what you have is uh, something where we always say no that our derivative is the same here or the slope of our graph is always going to have a certain value when x equals 0 okay, and it'll have, always have a certain value when x equals 1 okay, and similarly when okay, x might be 2 okay, it's always going to have the same slope okay, and so on and so forth Okay, and it'll be the same for negatives as well. Okay, we could uh, be also neg uh, the same sort of slope down here, that sort of thing. And we get the idea of no matter where our graph would be, okay, it's always going to have the same general shape. So um, we can do this for type 1, 2, and 3 differential equations. And funnily enough, there's a worked example on each type that we'll go through. So, worked example uh, 18, we want to sketch the slope for the differential equation dy dx okay, equals x on 2 okay, for y equals minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2 and x equals minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. Okay, so what we need is we need our axes here. Okay, so we need 1 and 2 and minus 1 minus 2, positive 1, positive 2, minus 1, minus 2. Okay, so what we do is we have a look at our equation, okay, and we look at uh, what we get when we sub in our x values. So, when x equals minus 2, dy dx, okay, equals minus 2 on 2, which equals minus 1. Okay, so we can say that our slope whenever we have here and sorry I probably did that a little bit poorly because really I only need to worry about at the points that I was asked for down here as well okay when x equals negative 1 our dy dx equal to negative 1 on 2 Okay, so then it'll be a little bit less near our slope. Okay, when x equals 0, then our dy dx equals 0 on 2, which equals 0. Okay, so it's just going to be flat for these ones. Okay, when x equals 1, our dy dx will equal 1 on 2 something like that and when x equals 2 our dy dx is equal to 2 on 2 which is equal to 1 okay so I'll we'll have a slope of 1 okay so you get the idea that whatever happens with our graph okay our slope's are always the same vertically for these ones, so we'd be zero, and then we're gonna come up like this, come up like this, okay, and so we have our slope field like so. Okay, so we'll have a look at worked example 19 now, which is uh, for our type two differential equations, which are our dy dx equals f of y. So this time we have dy dx equals y on 2 and again we want for y equals minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 and x for minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 so draw our axes again okay so again we look at going well this time we're going to be summing in our y values okay so for this we'll be saying 
Uh, this time we start off, we'll do when y equals zero. Okay, then our dy dx okay, equals zero on two is zero. Okay, that's for okay, all our x values. So whenever our x is zero, okay, so what, sorry, whenever y is zero, okay, we always get zero. So we're going to have horizontal lines here. Okay, then we do well when y equals 1. So we have dy dx equals 1 on 2. Okay, so for all our y value, whenever y is 1, it's going to be gradient of a half. Okay, so whenever y is 1, we've got that gradient of a half. Okay, then we do out when y equals 2, our dy dx going to be 2 on 2 which is 1. Okay, so whenever y is 2 now, our gradient is going to be 1. Okay, and now we can do the same thing with our negatives when y equals minus 1. Okay, then we're going to get dy dx. Equally when y is 1 we get negative a half. Okay, so we're going to be looking at our gradient of negative a half. Okay, so we'll be coming down this way. Okay, when we have a look at our when y equals minus 2 then our dy dx is equal to negative 2 on 2, okay, which is equal to negative 1. Okay, so we stay for again. Okay, so what this means, this one, okay, a little bit different. Okay, we would get one that comes through and up this way, through and down this way. Okay, because what we get, okay, is the curve for our type 2 differential equations we get uh, y equals y naught e to the x on 2 for this equation so up here okay so you can see we get that exponential type growth okay showing there okay now you'll notice uh, that they went through and they were talking about um, our angle that it makes but really we should understand what our gradient of one and a half and two and etc looks like so we shouldn't really need to do uh, our inverse tan stuff because basically what they were yeah that's what they were doing there we we shouldn't really need to do that okay so if we have a look at word example 20 this time okay uh, we've got our dy dx equals our f of xy okay so this time we've got y equals sorry we've got y times dy dx plus x equals zero. Okay, and so what we're gonna say for this one is we're gonna rearrange it, say dy dx, okay, equals our negative x on y. Okay, and this time we're doing it again for when y equals minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two, and x is our minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two also. So what we do here, okay, uh, and it works pretty well actually with what they do, they actually set up a bit of a table. Okay. Like so, we say well, x value is going to be up there. We're going to have our y values down here. Okay, it's just a good way to keep things organised. Okay, because basically now we're saying, well, what happens when uh, y is negative 2 and x is negative 2? Okay, well, our, we're still going to end up with a gradient of negative 1. Okay, because our double negative will cancel out on the top and we'll have a negative on the bottom still, so we'll get negative 1. Okay, when we look at doing x is 
uh, negative 1 and y is negative 2, we're going to get negative a half. Okay, when x is 0 and y is our um, negative 2, you see we're going to get 0 there and then we'll get half and 1. Okay, so we can keep going through here. Okay, um, for when y is 0, it's on the bottom line. Okay, so we're going to have undefined. UN for our undefined. Okay, for when it's 1, uh, y is 1 and x is um, negative 2, then we end up getting 2, and we'll keep running through. We get 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. Okay, and then we get 1, half, 0, negative a half, and negative 1. Okay, so we, when we actually do our axes for this, Okay, so when we're at negative 2, negative 2, okay, we've got a gradient of negative 1. Okay, so we're going to be there. Okay, when we've got a gradient, and if you have a look sort of on the diagonal here, okay, you can see that we get at negative uh, 1, negative 1, we also still get our negative 1. Then we're undefined here, so undefined means that we're vertical. Okay, so for all of these, when y is 0, they're all vertical, so we can add those in there. If we keep going, we're also going to be minus 1 and minus 1. Okay, and similarly, we can come down the other way and we're going to be positive 1 all the time. We'll come up there, somewhere, up here, down here, down here. Okay, so we're getting there and then we can keep filling in our other spots. So when we were minus 2 Okay, minus 1, we're going to be negative a half, so it'll be a bit less of a slope. Okay, uh, when we're over here, we're going to be a bit less of a slope again. Okay, here, a bit less of a slope. Up here, a slope like this. Okay, so we can keep going around. Okay, is what we're going to look like here. Okay, and you can see that we're getting the the look of a circle going on here, which is exactly what's going to happen. So we're vertical here, horizontal, oh sorry, we didn't do our horizontal one, sorry, they are all horizontal up here. Okay, for our x is zeros. Okay, and you see that we're going to end up getting uh, a circle here. Okay, we come around. So our solution to our differential equation, okay, will in fact be a circle. Okay, for this one. So that's a, that's all you have to do with these ones. It, it does seem a little bit odd at times, uh, these slope fields. Okay, because basically we're saying that we could have, uh, it kind of represents what the shape of our general solutions would look like. Okay, so it wouldn't matter what our radius was for our circle. Okay, you know it's going to be a circle. Okay, um, for our other one, sorry, back the other way. Okay, uh, it doesn't really matter what our values are here for y not and such. We're going to get our exponential looking sort of shape. Okay, and back the other way, okay, it doesn't matter if we translate vertically, we're still going to get that sort of shape of a quadratic. Okay, so that's all uh, we've got for this section, and it is in fact the last section of chapter 11.